What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you think in the comments section below. But in today's video, we are going to be in the Twitterverse. So as a reminder, you can get all of this information and more before I make a video on my Twitter. I share, I re, you know, retweet, do all that jazz for anything Division related. That's including all the games, the movie, everything is on this Twitter page. I then will compile the information and then make a video like this one later on. But if you want to get all of the raw information, just go to my Twitter page. It is right there. Now, with that being said, we are at just under 5,000 followers. And then for YouTube, we're making our way to 60,000 subscribers and 16 million views. So thank you guys so much for that support. Now, with that being said, we're going to talk about two different subjects, and they're both very juicy. One is going to be about uh, raid exclusives not being raid exclusive anymore. And the other one is going to be about a conspiracy. Ooh, spicy. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be a good one. So I hope uh, you're sitting back and uh, enjoying the show. If you're not eating popcorn, let me know in the comments what you're, uh, what you're snacking on. Here we go. So uh, the conspiracy, or no, not the conspiracy. Hey, 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 calm down, calm down. We'll, we'll do that later. So the first thing I want to bring up is the raid exotics. And actually, before we talk about what I tweeted out to the developers and got an answer about, let's talk about the background to this information. So you need to understand what's happening behind the scenes. Now... Um, in this is their Trello board. If you haven't seen this before, this is the Division 2's known issues board. And this is um, updated and, you know, dealt with just by the developers. And this is why where we can uh, go in there and just see, you know, what they're working on. Now, with that being said, let's see here. I'm sure I can find it pretty quick. Um, no, it's not under Fix Live. Would it be under investigating? Yes, it would be under investigating. Okay. So let me just find which one. So it would be under PVP. Okay. Striker Ballistic. There we go. So right here. This one is under the investigating tab for the known issues board. And it says exotics that are otherwise exclusive to a specific content source are now available as a random contaminated drop in the dark zone. All right? Now we're going to be mm, we're we're going to be jumping right into this little speculation rabbit hole because it's very telling one way or the other. And I really want to know what you think in the comments. So we're going to jump into this because I did get an answer from the developers about this. So right here, right off the bat, where it says otherwise exclusive to a specific content or source, to me, period, or not period, just to me, I think that that is... Mm, that would describe, like, uh, say, the Gunslinger's Holster or the, I don't know, maybe the Coyote's Mask, uh, the Chatterbox where you have to craft it, um, the Liberty, maybe, um, what else do you have to do like that? The Nemesis, because that's usually locked behind invaded uh, missions, right? I mean, those kind of things where you have to actually seek it out, like uh, Ridgeway's Pride chess piece, for example, or um, what was the other one? The Capacitor. The Capacitor was uh, linked behind the Summit, right? Or, you know, something like that, where it's linked behind a content, you know, say the Bighorn. The Bighorn's locked behind Legendaries, right? Ooh. But automatically, they're... <laughs> There are rumblings that this will include exotic um, raid exclusives. That will include the Eagle Bearer, the Regulus, and the Ravenous. So, this is where things get spicy. 
because I read this as, well, you know, you have to first craft the chatterbox and then it goes into your general loot. You have to first get the uh, that one named marksman rifle from um, Tidal Basin and then do all of those invaded over again to get all the pieces for the nemesis. And you have to get that requirement or, say, the Ridgeway's Bright chest piece where you have to go through the summit and you have to get all of those exotic pieces and then craft the Ridgeway's Pride chest piece. I mean, things like this. Uh, the Gunslinger holster, where you had to go to different control points, get it from different named enemies, um, or get it from completing that uh, you know control point. Um, those, those type of exotics is where my mind was going. Just for me. I'm just talking for me. Now, I have already seen a lot of people that are like, this includes raids. And now I've heard from, I think, three different um, content creators and streamers claiming that this does include raids, right? Raid exclusives. So with that being said, that's all the background on this, okay? So yesterday, was it yesterday? Yeah, last night? Yeah. So last night I, uh, I sent this out into the Twitterverse to uh, Morton. Now, just so you know, here's Martin right here, product director for the Division game at Massive Ubisoft. Um, this is the product director. Now, for a lot of the questions and where's this game headed and all that, Morton has been answering a majority, if not all of the questions. Uh, Yannick has been um, taking a back seat. He's been a little more quiet as of recent, which is fun. And then uh, Paul A., um, He's more apparel and art and gear and weapons. But the overall game, bugs, fixes, issues, Morton is usually the guy. Now, Daria and uh, Lucipus and all the community developers, they usually um, talk the, in the same tones as Morton. Um, but as far as the hierarchy, I think uh, Morton's up there as the product director. So I tweeted this out. I said, hey there, Morton. Uh, the known issues board update last week mentioned exotics being added to the Dark Zone that were locked behind previously exclusive content, right? I mean, that's what we just read. Exotics that were previously exclusive to a source or content is now going to be added to the DZ as a contaminated drop. So I said, quick question. Does this include raid exotics? asking for the community because we're already having community members saying yes and we're already having community members saying hell no why would they do that it's a raid exclusive so you know i had to add a little you know funny gif tell me more tell me more well he answered so he didn't <laughs> he didn't say yes and he didn't say no he said uh we will update the known issues board with the precise information before the PTS. Now, the PTS is uh, January. Now, we know that they're taking a holiday and they'll all come back, you know, fresh and ready to go in January, and then we're going to get the PTS and then season 11, blah, 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 right? But this, <laughs> this smiley face at the end, I, I don't know about you guys, but this this smiley face, this this thing right here, <laughs> I, I don't know. It, it It's making me feel like it's a yes. And I think it might be a yes. I think we might be getting raid exclusives in the dark zone. I, I think this... Um, I think this is finally going to happen. I mean, granted, the... You know, the, the raids are old. They're, they're a couple years old. And I get it. They're not doing raid matchmaking. They're doing raid discoveries, but let's be real. <laughs> no one's doing those. And it's just, it's in a spot where it's either you've done the raids or you haven't. There's a few dedicated, like, raid clans where, like, their clan is just raid, 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 which is legit. I, I, I salute those people. The speedrunners? Hell yeah, dude. I salute. But... They're not really doing it for the exotics. Let's be real. They're doing it for the raid time, right? I mean, they are helping people get the exotics. And there are numerous creators that will do raids and help people get exotics, for sure. 
But as far as the new and returning populace and all of these, you know, beginner's guides and, hey, welcome to the Division 2, even though we're in year four type of marketing campaign, they are aiming for a higher player base. And they are aiming for this player base to be able to play their new content being Countdown, Descent, Dark Zone, things like that. And they are less worried about them doing the raids that are a couple years old. So what they're doing here is adding those raid exclusives to the Dark Zone to get more people into the Dark Zone. Because then that populates your Dark Zone. We all know that the Dark Zone has been dead. You have your Dark Zone dogs, quote unquote, that are in there all day, all night, every day. Roof, roof. I get it. I salute it. I used to be one of those back in Division One. I'd play till like, I don't know, five, six in the morning and just go crazy in the Dark Zone. And it used to be a lot of fun. I mean, that's why I made a YouTube channel. I made Dark Zone builds. But this Dark Zone in the Division Two is different. It's a different community. It's a different environment. It's a different atmosphere. It's just, it's not as fun. And remember in year one, they had the Thieves' Den, where it kind of like gave you that incentive to go into the Dark Zone every day. Hey, man, what do they have at the Thieves' Den? Oh, snap. They have the apartment at the Thieves' Den? Let's go, go, go. Dark Zone. And that's how it was. I mean, it it gave us a reason to go into the Dark Zone. And then they took that out during uh, Warlords of New York, and it kind of just fell on its face. I mean, it went flat. It kind of got boring, you know, full of cheaters and whatever, what have you. And it just kind of got pushed to the side and pushed to the side. So this is a great marketing campaign to get all of your new and returning players to not only play your game, but go into the Dark Zone. Hey, we'll give you the Eagle Bearer. Go into the Dark Zone. And that makes you go in there whether you want to or not. And then that populates, you know, their game in those areas. That's what they want. They want a well-populated player base in all aspects of their game. Now, the raids, it's going to kind of fall to the side like Kinley College, where Kinley College, it was, that was the only way to get the diamond back. But then once you got the diamond back, it was in general loot. And then they just added it to general loot, and they never changed the reward, so no one does Kinley College. And I'll admit, every once in a while I'll get bored, I'll go back to Kinley College, do some speed runs. It's a lot of fun. I mean, I did that a few months back, and what, we made like second in the world, or you know, whatever. It was pretty cool. But that's what it's going to be for the raids. It's going to be, let's go do a speed run raid, have fun, and, you know, that's it. And that's what the raids kind of are right now, is it's kind of like a, either you're speed running it with your clans, you're trying to get that Eagle Bearer, you're trying to get that Ravenous, that Regulus, or you're in a raid clan that does it for fun anyways. I mean, come on. The average player isn't going to get onto the game and be like, hey, I want to do a Tark Hours right now. I already have the Eagle Bearer, let's just do it for fun, guys. And... You know, then you don't have, you know, the people that have eight friends or what have you. It's a whole, you know, cluster. So this kind of eliminates all of that. And it gives your players a reason to go into the dark zone. Mm, I mean, it's a win-win for them, right? What do you think in the comments? Let me know. Because I think it's a win-win for them. Now, for those people that, you know, did a million raids and then got one Eagle Bearer, I feel for you. I got it. I feel for you. Um, And then same with the Regulus. You had to grind your butt off to get it. I I don't know. It, it It is crazy. But we are in year four going on year five for this video game. And to them, the money makers are the new and returning people. And to them, let's make those people happy. So to make those people happy, hey, if you go into the dark zone, I heard you could get a ravenous. What? Really? Holy crap. Let's go. You know what I mean? It's, you know, come on. So we'll wait for January for this answer. Let me know in the comments what you think about this being a raid exclusive or not. You know, does this give good incentive to go into the dark zone? Why does it? Why does it not? Let's discuss. Okay. Now. 
Um, you can click off if all you wanted to do is hear about the exotics. If you don't want to hear about the conspiracies or any of that, <clears throat> you can sign off now. I appreciate you. Just make sure you hit that like. <laughs> uh, okay. So here's here's part two of the video. Let me get a sip of my coffee. Because this is going to be a interesting part. Okay. So, there are conspiracies going around about the developers and not being able to do their job. I mean, essentially, let's let's just be real. I'm gonna call it how we see it. So here is what's going on with that. And I'm gonna explain to you and show you the evidence. You can decide by yourself. I, I don't care. So the where is it? The update in question. Right here. Boom. Okay. So on December 19th, the division tweeted out, hey, we're taking down the servers for a scheduled maintenance uh, to go down on December 20th, Tuesday, at 0330 to 0630. Okay. And then it was, for what? The doctor home will now be the only exotic to drop in the Anderson um, manhunt mission. All right. Then, on the 20th, and this is where it's going to get juicy, because at this part where you're looking right now, you don't see it, but you'll see it when I click on it. Okay. So, on the 20th, if you're just scrolling through here, you would see that they retweeted the implementing changes, and then they updated it saying this. We've heard your concerns and decided against implementing any of those changes. Uh, you should be able to acquire the Dr. Home as a random drop once you complete the mission or by replaying it with a new character. But they made it to where it'll just keep dropping as a random drop with all the other exotics that are in the general loophole. So basically they made it to where once you complete that mission, that weapon will be in the general loot. So you can do it over and over. If you don't get it the first time, okay, maybe you'll get it the third or the fourth or the fifth time, what have you. I don't know. Okay. Now, if you're just now reading this, you're like, okay, I mean, that's a good change. Thank you. You know, you know, I applaud that, whatever. And if we click on this, and I think I, yeah, I even said, you know, this is a pleasant surprise. Good job. Let's farm exotics. Let's go. And we will. We're going to do a live stream doing that. But what I did not notice right here, okay, so that highlighted section is the time and the date, okay? Now, the division was uh, silent uh, upcoming to this patch because the day previous, they did this, and then um, the com dev Daria said a few things, deleted a few things, what have you, and it, it kind of got the community in, like, an awkward position. Well, they were silent the rest of that day, and then up to the patch, they were not saying anything, didn't say anything when the patch was on, when the patch was off, they didn't say a word. And then at 6.51, then they tweeted this, okay? So this is where the conspiracy rabbit hole starts to fall. Or starts, I guess. Not, not to fall, that, that seems negative. This is where the conspiracy starts, right? Okay. So they didn't say anything about the patch. They didn't say anything about them changing it before the patch. They didn't say anything at all until 21 minutes after their scheduled patch time. And then they say, we've heard and decided against it. So the conspiracy is that they didn't just decide right here at 651, hey, let's do it, right? The conspiracy is they opened up the patch. They started to implement it to where you only get the doctor home to drop from that mission. And then the conspiracy is, is that they fucked up the game and that the game doesn't work and that they couldn't, you know, let that patch go live. So they removed it and just said, hey, look, we're helping you. We didn't mess up. And that's where the conspiracy is. Now, I'm saying a conspiracy because that's what it is. It's not it's a it's it's not. 
there's no huge evidence. The only thing is this time of this tweet. And that's where it's a coincidence and it helps support that conspiracy. Does that mean that the devs are incapable of doing their job and they can't do X, Y, or Z? And if they did, it would just break the game. So how, you know, they're not going to do anything? No, I don't think that's true. Um, I think that, honestly, I think that this is a coincidence. But I do think that they were quiet leading up to this because of the controversy the day before. Because the day before, they had a comm dev say and post some things that were then deleted because people in the community were taking it the wrong way. And they didn't say anything from anyone until this tweet the next day. So I think that it was, you know, an embarrassing point or maybe they just wanted to get past that. So they kind of just went dark for, you know, the night, came back. Hey, here we go. We decided this. That's, I don't know. I mean, it is a good conspiracy, though. It does add up. The time's there. They didn't say anything. I mean, it, <laughs> it wouldn't be a conspiracy if it didn't have some sort of evidence to be like, aha, you know what I mean? I don't know. Let me know what you think about this, because this is kind of juicy. I, I like the conspiracy aspect, but at the same time, I highly doubt it. I mean... They were honest about the Picaro's holster when they shouldn't have been, right? So that's telling you that these developers are willing to be transparent with their community, right? Why, why would they be so transparent about that and then not transparent at all and hide? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I can find some more evidence somewhere. And if you guys have some other evidence or agents, don't, I'm, I'm sorry I keep saying you guys. I'll, I'll start saying you agents out there. If you have anything um, to support this, let me know. But I just thought it was like a weird coincidence and that they were probably embarrassed about the actions that were taken the day prior. And that with that, you know, feeling bad, they also noticed that there was a lot of backlash about this exotic change. So they decide to just not do it because they don't want the heat from the community. But it's just my opinion. I'm not, you know, I don't know one way or another. I'm not an inside guy. I don't, I don't know what they're doing behind closed doors. Or at least not yet anyways. Hmm, giggity. But all right, everyone. That was it. This is the conspiracy part of the uh, video where people are saying... It's not that they were trying to be nice to us and listen. It's that they couldn't do it. Where, just like I posted in here, right? I think I posted it, right? Yeah. I said, this is a pleasant surprise. I'll be, you know, farming exotics. And I was, you know, one of the people campaigning for them not to change it. So seeing that they decided not to change it, you know, I was surprised and happy about it. But this conspiracy about them not being able to do anything is, uh, I don't know. Let me know what you think. But all this and more is on my Twitter page at Kamikaze Von Doom, so you can find that. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe. You know the whole YouTube spiel. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a good day. Peace out.